Dixon with Endscreen Media, and I'm at Connected TV in London talking with John G, who is SVP of Business Development at a company called Alfonso. And John, you gave a great presentation at the show uh, earlier today, and I really wanted to get a chance to, for you to introduce Alfonso because it's a new company to me, and I'm. Um, want to make sure my, uh, my readers and listeners get a chance. So can you tell us, tell us about Alfonso? <clears throat> well, Alfonso is a TV data company. Uh, we're about four years old. Uh, we're located in the United States, four offices uh, across the world, uh, one in the Bay Area, one in New York, one in New Jersey, one in Bangalore. Um, and we're a TV data company. Uh, we, have, um, we use TV data to, um, if you will, bridge the gap between what's happening on TV and uh, what's happening in the digital world in terms of app usage. So you're really, you're, you're beginning to unfragment this fragmented world, right? So let's talk about how you go about doing that. You have a lot of data about what's, what's on TV, all the ads and shows, and you have consumer data. So, so, so tell me how you're connecting those two and how you get that consumer data. Well, uh, we, uh, on, the, on one side, we index all television programs and all television ads in the United States, over 200 uh, broadcast and cable networks. And on the other side, we have uh, client software that lives in 40 million devices. So we have about 30 million phones, about, uh, about 10 million uh, smart TVs, and uh, these devices are reporting back uh, television viewership. Uh, and we do that through a technology called ACR, Automatic Content Recognition. It uses audio fingerprinting. Nothing is recorded. There's no sound recorded, no conversations. It's just making a fingerprint. That fingerprint is compared to our uh, huge database of television programs and ads. And then when it makes a connection and says, oh, I recognize that, then uh, something happens. And so the question is, what is that something? We have three typical use cases. One is uh, extending the television audience to digital. So uh, our client, our advertiser says, whenever you uh, have an ad identified that's one of ours, I want you to retarget that video ad, maybe not the same exact copy, but it's a video ad, to that mobile device that recognized it. So it reinforces that uh, advertiser's uh, television campaign allows them to reach across devices and also gives them possibly additional reach and, and frequency. And it saves, solves that problem where people's co concentration and focus are divided between a digital device in their lap and television itself, right? Absolutely. What the studies have shown is that uh, television uh, usage in, and app usage uh, runs about the same way. It peaks at, uh, at prime time. Yep. So uh, the, the unfortunate problem is brand recall when you have just one device in the room, which is the television, is at about 40% in, in, uh, on average. When you have more than one device in the room, when you're browsing on, a, on an iPad or an iPhone, that brand recall drops to 4%. Goodness me. So absolutely, uh, absolutely a huge problem. What we're able to do is bridge that gap. So that's model one, uh, helping, helping the television advertiser br uh, get, yeah, get on the device and get back in front of the consumer. Correct. What's model number two? So model number two is finding the audience that the advertiser wants to advertise on. So let's say uh, you, the advertiser would like to target an audience that has watched uh, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones is not, uh, doesn't accept advertising, but we know the audience that watches Game of Thrones. And number three is the ability to conquest. So our advertiser says, well, this is my competition. Whenever you see my competition's ad, I want you to retarget my ad. To that mobile device. So we're able to do those three use cases and, and others, but those are the three main use cases for Alfonso on the advertising side. And you can do this sort of close to real time, but not real time. So, um, you know, maybe not at exactly time the ad is being broadcast or the show is being shown. Yes. It's but maybe sometime later. So uh, this, this allows you to do things um, pretty interesting, like um, I guess you can target people when they're out and about on their mobile phone. Is, is, is that the sort you of thing? You could. It's, uh, it's a uh, user-definable uh, setting so it could be five minutes it could be five hours uh, in general advertisers look to to do this retargeting within uh, a few hours so that uh, the the 
effect of being reinforced is there. Any any metrics on how effective it is at, at boosting brand recall and um, uh, calls to action? Well, you know, we do uh, also do closed loop attribution. So having the data that says the viewer saw this commercial, uh, we then combine it with third party data on uh, uh, credit card purchases or store visits um, and, and other things. So we could actually say the viewer saw this ad, they then went to the store and bought a product, and so we're able to show that there's a brand lift, there's a purchase lift, there are store visit lifts, on average about 20% greater than uh, just using a, a television ad. Yeah, this is so important when, you know, now we hear that television advertising dollars are in the same part, part as digital advertising dollars and that the, the dollars are being allocated more towards attribution platforms. This sounds like it's very valuable for the television industry in, in your first model, right? It's uh, valuable, and the beauty of it is it's happening today. You could go to insights.alfonso.tv and actually see the reports, pull the reports yourself. It's uh, uh, right now open to the public. Awesome. Well, I'll make sure I publish that link in the piece when we publish this video. John, thank appreciate you very much for talking with us. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. This has been Colin Dixon with Endscreen Media.